Blanton's, the original single barrel bourbon. What and say you, Bruno? The whiskey tasting fellows. <laughs> That's right. First of all, love the horse. Mm. This was your bottle. That's you the... sent this to me, and I'm uncorking it. And I'm like, what is this? And it's like a cast what? iron horse. Well, it reminds me of Monopoly. The people games. collect these. Really? If you didn't know that, didn't there know. are. Um, if you look on the front of it, there's a letter right there, T. Right. And there's a T. Yep. On this one. So there's different letters or different Blans horses. Is spelled out Blans. Oh. So people will collect the try to get the B L A N T O N S. Hmm. I'm glad you spelled that for me. And actually, if you go to the to the Blanton's website, they sell a, a stand hmm. in the shape of like a horse track, and then you put the uh, toppers on it for display. Wow! In order, a little something extra. So tell me about Blanton's. <clears throat> Blanton single barrel. Uh, this is highly highly regarded. Um, there's a lot of people that like the Blanton's. Um, this was my first adventure, or not adventure, but my first endeavor into the Blantons. First time I'd seen it, it actually. Sure. Um, Looks like an old World War I hand grenade to me. It, does, it is shaped like a right. grenade. It must be something from the horse races, though, maybe. Yeah. But. Well, well I can tell you, first of all, I dig your shirt. I'm sorry I don't have on some colors for we the are 4th. getting ready for yeah. the 4th of July. Because it's coming. Independence. And, and I wished I'd had it. I was trying to source a top hat. Like, ah. And uh, and it got properly sourced, but I didn't get by and pick it up. No. Sorry. No. So, first um, of all, love so love the little accoutrements. <laughs> the accoutrements that go with this. Uh, if, you know, if, if you didn't notice, this is a 375 milliliter bottle. Um, this stuff sells pretty quick once it gets out on the shelves, and I don't think either that it's like liquor stores get cases of this stuff. They get a few bottles. If you're lucky, as a liquor store, you get a couple of bottles of the Blantons to sell. I only poured so, a little bit for me because I do not want to drain your bottle. I really, first of all, I'm going to tell you, I really like this. So, wow. Um, Gusto. Anyway, I was in a liquor store, though, um, and the clerk knows me and uh, he said hey we got some Blantons if you want it and I said of course they actually had it behind the counter hidden under the shelf and was just selling it to their known uh, really? customers basically Still. yeah so and that was all they had was the 375 milliliter bottles so, so on the nose I get a, uh, a spicy fruitiness and it's very it smells clean and crisp um, Colonel Blanton, who started with the Blantons, would ha used to hand select his casks. He believed the center of his warehouse was the best place to age his bourbon. So he would hand select his barrels, and those were uh, set aside basically or given to special people, special visitors, special guests, ambassadors, stuff like that. He called and it a center cut. Center cut, center cut. And, um, so that tradition still continues with the Blanton single barrel. They still select barrels from the center of the warehouse. Um, and it also was the first, world's first single barrel bourbon. The taste, it's, I get a little spiciness. Um, I get a caramel and an oak. It's got a sweet floral note to it which is really nice i find it extremely smooth and i get like a i get a lovely buttery toffee aftertaste and it trails out over about 15 20 seconds which i don't usually get in american whiskeys i usually get boom it drops off and I got to tell you, I did everything possible not to completely drain the bottle <laughs> that you loaned me to taste because this may be one of my, well, it's definitely in my top range of bourbons. Um, the, the nose to me, I was, I'm not that impressed with. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. But when I first got it and I poured the first cup of it, I thought, okay, well, it doesn't, I don't cup, really get cup of it. Is that what I said? You said from the first, first, first cup. My first, sure, my first wow. cup. Cup. Maybe three quarters of a cup. Of a cup. Um, but I wasn't, like I say, I wasn't that impressed with it. I didn't mm. think there was that much there to distinguish it over other bourbons. Until I, I tasted it. Oh, I was going to say, I could liberate this. 
cheaply from you. I mean, I'm just talking just, about the nose. I'm okay. moving on. True, true. I'm just saying, I, I, I'm, I'm deeply impressed. Sorry, I jumped you on the tasting. You hadn't done your nose. Mm -hmm. mm. The, really, the only thing outside in the nose that I do get that that isn't present in some of the other bourbons is a, a very strong vanilla cream. To me, was very is very present. Mm. Um, my taste, I got quite a quite a few different notes with this. And actually, even that first night that I tasted it, I had tried another bourbon first, and then I went to the Blantons, and I thought, okay, well, it's it's good, but I don't see that Ooh. that uh, that much to it. So I went back to it, and on the second night, though, I got quite a few notes hmm. and really enjoyed it. See, mine was but, different. I tried the Blantons first, and then I had another bourbon, and the other bourbon just, I won't name it, but it yeah. paled in comparison. Apparently, we must need it. You, you must need a good palate cleanser in between if you're drinking bourbons. And even scotches, I suppose, that's still true. Well, I cleanse you a good. I don't think I did. I think mm -hmm. I just moved right into it. Uh, but anyway, I get that, that creaminess, that vanilla creaminess is present. It's very smooth. Um, just a hint of a corn alcohol. There's a spiciness to it, a caramel, and I got a black licorice note. Mm. Do you get a uh, buttery toffee aftertaste? Mm -hmm. I would agree with that, too. Just yeah. to be honest with you, although it's not in the forefront, if I use that inhalation technique, I can still pick up a little bit of the buttery mm -hmm. toffee. And so, what do you mean by inhalation technique? Uh, you can kind of breathe in through your nose and your mouth, and it kind of circulates the, the flavor profile mm -hmm. a little bit. So when you're taking a drink and you've got it in your mouth. I'll do that, too. You, is that what you're saying, or are you saying after? After you swallow Even afterward, I can kind of bring it back up and around. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but love it. So, malt mark. Do you have a malt mark on I you? I do. All right. Mine, without looking, my blinder's up. 90. Oh. 90 well. is what I got. What do you got? Oh, he's still drawn. Hold on. He's, he's got a cool little deal. Although it does look good on the display, I notice. Sometimes I, I am envious of your display tech. No. Yep. Really? Yep. That's what I had for it as well. Huh. I thought so, you were going to score it lower. We had no. chatted about this a little bit. I seemed way more bullish than mm -hmm. you did. So I thought, and I'm going to tell you, bourbons don't often, if at all, this might be my first bourbon to crack the 90s, I think. There might have been it one other be. one. I can't it remember. Be I've got an idea that something else might have got in there. Love it. Any final thoughts? First of all, now you got me intrigued on the horse thing. Yep. Sounds like you need it. You should yeah. try, try to buy them all. Yeah, well, now, since I did buy this, I did see a 750 milliliter at, a, at another liquor store. Does it too um, have a horse? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they all do. The box was pretty in depth too. Some kind of clamshell collapse. This goes through and hooks. It took me like now minutes. The, I think though too, when I bought this, they asked me. They said, "Well, we've got them with the horses, or we've got them with a bag. Which one do you want?" And I didn't know any different. I was just like, oh, Horses. I don't need the bag. Yeah, you horse. Topper. So I got the topper. And then I found out about the letters. So Bart, you should try to collect all of the letters. Sounds interesting. <laughs> all right. Whiskey tasting fellas. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. 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 <laughs>